Make sure that works. <laughs> and they all. <laughs> cool. It's working. All right. And so the camera and microphone for the couple people on lines right here. Okay. I'll try not and, uh, to move. I'd like to roam around. Yeah. But I'll minutes. have a big mouth. Okay. I'm Timo. I'm Timo. Oh, no grimes. Chili pepper water. We're a Hawaiian hot sauce company. What is my chili pepper water? It is vinegar based. It comes in three flavors. Uh, jalapeno, which is like a pickled jalapeno. Original is what I grew up on. It's um, medium heat. And we also have a habanero. My hot sauces are about uh, the flavors of the hot sauce. So you still enjoy your food. It's not going to burn your mouth where you go numb for a half hour. The mission is to share the Aloha spirit one bottle at a time. It's, it's a cultural thing. And that's what uh, I try to share part of my heritage. Our current sales models that we have right now, we do still we do farmers markets and we do some festivals, but most of we have switched in the last month to more wholesaling. Uh, we do some restaurants, some mom and pop shops. Um, I just got some contacts with the commissaries here in North Carolina, and also we're going to be going internationally pretty soon with five other countries. And these are our owners. I am Kimo. And this is my lovely wife. Um, she does all the marketing, the digital behind the scenes, because I'm not a nerd. Um, I'm old, so I don't know how to use a computer, basically. <laughs> so, but she's um, a great person. She also designed our new logo. Brian helped us with that as well. He's one of our mentors. So um, I used to have my face on the picture. Okay. Most of the times people, when they have hot sauces, they go, okay, too expensive to make. I don't want to go into a kitchen and things like that. So I take that, especially for restaurants and pubs and things like that. Um, so they can use it on their recipes or come up with new recipes. And we also are uh, gluten and vegan free. We're also FDA approved. So I can go anywhere in the country. Uh, when I do internationally, that's a whole different process that I'm going to have to deal with. Um, the additional, if like we are in some restaurants, they actually sell it at their restaurant as well as use it for their customers. So it's a different revenue that they can uh, use. So it also expands our brand and people will come and buy from their restaurant as well. These are our bottles right now. We do five ounce bottles. We also do restaurant quality for quarts, half gallons and gallons. Uh, this is our Wholesale prices that are on our bottles for right now. Um, once I find my co-packer, it'll probably go down a little bit, especially for the larger bottles. Yeah. And this is how we usually do our sales, festivals, websites. Um, we do a lot of networking here with Flywheel, Cabarrus County, and we're doing trade shows next year uh, and things like that. Yeah. These are our plans right now. We are in l and and Hawaiian Barbecue in Virginia. Um, Leo's Gourmet Market off the 29 and some of the other Ted of Paradise and Everyday Aloha. Um, we're probably going to be in the Concord LNL. And once I do that, I'm going to start talking to corporate for our uh, expand their restaurants. Okay. And these are the folks that I belong to. I am part of Got to Be North Carolina, North Carolina um, Specialty Cabarrus Center. And we're also going to work on some MBE stuff. Okay. And for, this is our projection for the three to five years. Um, at least get three or five new wholesale customers a month and some more retail work on our brand that way as well. Okay. What I need is an accountant um, it's, and I also need a co-packer. I thought I had two, but they followed through. So I do need a co-packer and I do need um, a little bit more capital. So like uh, not gold fund, but crowdfunding and stuff like that. And that's chemo, some chemo's all no rights. Done. A minute or so to go. 